Hello everyone, we are back with another video. This time it's going to get extra spicy because we are trying to not get beaten by the chicane of death on Dragon Trail in the FIA Manufacturer series. But before we jump into the race action, as usual, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, give this video a like, it would be very much appreciated. Uh, comment at your heart's delight in the section below and then hit the notification bell so that you know every time new content comes out. Okay, let's jump into it. As mentioned, we are in Croatia. Uh, I love the beautiful background on this track. I quite like the track itself as well, except for the mentioned chicane. We are in GT3 cars. I'm in my Hulk Mercedes. We have just started the race in lap 1. My goal is to be as careful as possible, not to mess anything up, not to bin anything in the first lap. I've started from position 11 and medium tires. Let's see how we can get through without causing any accidents or getting involved in any. So far so good. Let's see if we can continue. But I can promise you the first three laps in this race were quite full of action. Let's take a look. So, as you could see, uh, some people have already misjudged their braking points on cold tires and forgot about the strong effects of the slipstream being behind other cars. We have already gained a few positions. Let's see how we can walk on. With the chicane being just around the corner, uh, I'm being extra careful, slowing down, being slower than I normally would be here. The goal is not to overtake anyone here, but to rather stay safely behind and make it through without getting punted or punting anyone. The race is 18 laps one. I'm not going to win it in the first lap, but I could very well lose a lot by not being careful enough. And as mentioned, I'm not on soft tires, I've started it on medium tires. Before the race, I was told that with the Mercedes, soft tires would last for roughly 6 or 7 laps, medium tires would last for roughly 8 or 9 laps, so I've decided for a safer strategy and will use the medium tires for the first 8 laps, then go on a 4 lap stint on the hards, hoping for the best, and have the soft and fastest tires for the last stint in the race, hopefully gaining a few positions there and cementing whatever position I have by then. So 8 mediums, 4 hards, 6 softs. Even though the Mercedes has quite a big engine, it is uh, quite decent with fuel management, so I would have to only short shift a little bit, not fuel safe too much uh, without losing race speed, so to speak. And we've just gained another position, are now already in position 8, starting from 11th. It's looking good, let's see if we can continue this way. We have a small group of four cars here, me, the yellow Ferrari in Alfa Romeo and the GTR. Let's hope that everybody is reasonable enough finding their breakpoints before we go into the chicane. And boom! We got punted and so did apparently the yellow Ferrari. Let's hope we can make it safely through the chicane and everybody remains calm and reasonable. I really like about Gran Turismo Sport is the attention to detail, not only towards the cars and the tracks, but also the backgrounds. Beautiful panorama shot here.
this part of the video is to showcase a really nice and exciting battle between me and the uh, beetle behind me with partly very very close racing when we both do our best to give each other enough space so fair but hard racing this is what I like about GT Sport not trying to push or shove or punt your way through but to give respect and space to the other driver he actually realized that he couldn't make the move and backed out before punting into me big respect to that driver thank you so much skip ahead to the end of lap 6 here, it's been going well, we are in position 9, we should be gaining a few positions in some seconds, however, because people are starting to pit. There we go, we are currently, uh, temporarily of course, because we haven't pitted ourselves yet, in position 7. Skipping ahead to end of lap 8, it's time for us to pit now, as mentioned earlier, We've been on the medium tires for 8 laps now, it's time to come in and get the hard tire requirement out of the way. It is also a time to refuel so that once we come in to put the soft tires on we don't have to do that and don't waste too much time closer to the end of the race. Let's hope we don't lose too many positions, let's see in what position we come out. Okay, we are on the hard tires now, so for the next four laps our strategy must be to cement our position and defend it, so that once we go onto the soft tires we don't have to fight too much and on the contrary move our way forward. Let's see how this works out, so far so good. position but actually gain one we're currently in eighth it is time for our last pit stop in this race to go on to the soft tires let's see if we can gain even more
skipping ahead to the end of lap 14. We have managed to survive the chicane countless times now and this should be the last round of people going into the pits. Let's see if once again we can gain an advantage by people going in and we passing them on a better tire compound. Fingers crossed. Okay, looking at the delta, uh, position 5 is clearly too far away. I don't expect to be able to gain that position, so for now the strategy must be to cement and defend position 6. It's shaping up to be a good possibility, a good option. For now our goal must be to not bottle or bin it through the chicane. Be careful, drive carefully, drive defensive, not too aggressive. Make Basically bring it home and make it to the end of lap 18. And this is exactly what we've done. We've driven carefully, we brought this whole race home, uh, we finish in position 6, which I think is a really good achievement and which once again proves that it's not always important to be in the fastest car possible, but in a car that gives you confidence in your driving. Uh, I've gotten a good amount of points and hope to see you again in the next video. Have fun, stay safe, stay healthy.